Hello and welcome to Mental Poop on 95. Take a tutorial part 4 launching and landing and parachutes. So before we start, I'd just like to quickly say um, that currently I am working on a new end sort of slide, you could say, like an end picture which like some popular channels have so you can click to go to different videos or website or subscribe so I, I'm working on that at the moment so I may not be uploading so many videos so quickly um, and also just to be a bit like Halifax you could say um, I'm going to be working on um, some of my new video subtitles now in about five different languages just so you know if you don't want to muck around with it or you you know if you're not English or if you don't speak English in fact then that's good okay so a parachute to make a parachute you need a canvas which is made from two sticks and five is it five? five string um, and then you need five string and three canvases to make a parachute. And then to make your parachute you, a different colour, you just put a dye next to it to make it your colour. Okay, so um, that's how to make a parachute. You have to have a parachute before you launch. We're all fueled, ready to go. Collision. Oh wow, I can see all the steam down there. Oh, that's a lot. There's some creeping up there as well. Mm. I'm not sure how, but um, before, between the third and fourth episode, when um, I was about to leave, I think a like a creeper blew up somehow. Well, anyway, that's fixed on the base. Um, just want to let you know. Okay, so when you're in your space shuttle, you've got to make sure you have your oxygen tanks, oxygen gear, oxygen mask, or when you um, go from the moon, you will start taking damage. Also, you don't really need to make sure you've got a parachute because it will tell you when you try to launch if you have one or not. But make sure you've got them fully aired. And um, one thing that you could have do for fun. But I'll just tell you to do, um, just in case, is do not right click when you're flying or you literally jump out the rocket and the rocket will go off without you. You won't be able to get back on it. Okay, so, moon, habitable, no oxygen, gravity, 18%. Okay, so now we're falling, so we need to hold space to slow us down. Um, okay. Uh, trying to get my launch pad, my landing pad even. I think that's pretty good. Uh, slowly moving. Okay, so now you got mini map, which I am. Um, using to guide myself where I want to land because at the moment I'm so far you can't see anything oops I just right clicked out of it that's why you should not right click out of it oh just got it before I fell I was near miss that okay I think I can see something now. Oh, no, that's just my landing gear. Okay, so now I can see something. I can see the lights. Double, I haven't got very good view of them though. Oh. Okay. 
It's really hard to land on that landing pad, it's so small. This is quite big actually. It doesn't look so big until you land. Okay, so now when you when you've entered the room, you have on your top left a few um oxygen gauge which is how much oxygen you have left. So you know whether you're about to run out or not. What on earth? I never knew about these. Anyway. These are um moon spot these are moon spiders. So pretty much you got you got mobs on the moon that they just got um This is a pain. Um they've just got oxygen masks and oxygen tanks. Which is pretty cool, but they're pretty damn annoying. Mm God. Take him. Because obviously you can just keep jumping and you might keep missing them. Okay, we've got some skeddies over there, we've got a creeper. Um okay. Joking. Oh. Ooh. Okay, um this has never happened before, I don't know why. Yeah, it's just um just so we don't have any trouble so I can actually show you what we're supposed to be doing. Okay, so when to get out of the rocket you right click obviously and before you start wandering off making a moon base not a moon yeah moon base even right click and it will give you your fuel that was left over from the rocket, your launch pad and your tier one rocket. And then you can break it. It doesn't break it but it just gets rid of it. Okay. So this is my um base I showed you in the intro. So that is pretty much launching and landing. Um for next episode we will be we will be um on the moon again. We'll be on the moon for the first time. I'll show you something. Um but for now I will show you oops, I'll just Minimum. Um, but for now, I will show you the parachute, which is landing back on Earth. That's my nice little rover I got there. That's me. Oh. Where's my oxygen bubble? Switch that on. So this is falling apart. Oh, really? Here, beat the engine now. Just going on. Okay, so hopefully that should work. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter what I'm doing really. Oh. What? Not enough power. Oh. This is. There's no coal. Oh. Excuse me, spawning in some coal because I can actually breathe for a few minutes. How much coal is that going? That's better. Oh, I will show you um, how to do that next um, one of the episodes. Put some light up as well. It's been this dark, Al. Okay, how are we doing? Okay, we can stop loading. Okay, so off we go again. Leaving on moon base. So that is how that is, you land on the moon. You get like a small sort of thing, and then to launch again, 
you need to um, get the stuff from it and then put it all out again. The one important thing that you have to carry with you almost everywhere is a, um, a fuel loader. Um, which we defueling a rocket. I think part episode two, which is quite important. You would have to have like a if you have when you go to the moon. It is important you take if you're just going just to make a small base there, like a um, temporary base. It's almost important you bring coal. Um, engine. The um engines now. Let me just look. Um engines and a fuel loader. Well, so you will not be able to fuel rocket and get back unless you spawn it in. Okay. Don't know what those. So, overworld, full of life, habitable, gravity, hundred percent. Of course now, see my red parachute is opened and we're dropping down. Um and above me is another small parachute and that is a box with my equipment in it. So basically, here's one um his creative one that I um landed earlier so you you got your inventory oh, I'll just do this one so you got um a chest that was on the rocket where you could have stored stuff and you got the actual T1 rocket rocket launcher and part of the canister just comes down in a parachute slower than me. Um so far these cannot be broken with a diamond pickaxe. You have to go into creative to destroy them. Don't care about you. Okay, so next episode you'll be back on the moon and we will um I'm not sure what we'll be looking at, but we'll be looking at something interesting. So we will see you then. Bye!